The bridge engineering project was designed as an extension of our study of force and motion. We studied the forces on structures, specifically bridges, so that's tension and torsion and compression. So they had to create a bridge with popsicle sticks that could hold up to 20 pounds, and their budget was uh, 300 popsicle sticks. We're working on these triangle trusses. Triangles are supposed to be a strong shape. Right now I'm making this part and she's making the bottom. But you built up your bridge just to move between walls. Up until this point we've been just trying to work on it to make it as strong as we po possibly could. Today we're going to see how other groups do see how many pounds theirs holds, how many sticks that they use, what type of bridge. They had waited for that moment and there was a lot of hype. We invited parents to come and join us and uh, other students, their, their classmates in the other classes in fifth grade came to, uh, to watch the process and watch the testing process. Is there a part was just building the bridge? Uh, I'm going to say I liked watching them break. That was pretty cool. Yeah, watching all the bridges, seeing how much they could hold, that was probably the, my favorite part of the whole thing. And this year we were lucky enough to have uh, Jim Pierce, who is a Cottage Grove resident. Uh, he's a bridge engineer for MinDOT, and he was nice enough to take off four or five days of work and work with each group individually. He did uh, different um, like visual examples for the kids and demonstrations in class. I like how it takes a while and it's like fun to like actually relate it to real life. This engineering project is, does exactly that. Hopefully it, it creates a love for, for those science and math concepts and will empower them and motivate them to, to study those things down the road. So it just gives them a little taste of you know, what, what they could do with, with some of these skills. Between walls that you build to escape from the truth.